uh, a few years ago. I guess it was quite a few years ago now. I mean, it seems to be passing really quickly. Oh, that's I have to. Let me write that down because I've got to do that time thing on that. I'll be right with you. Sorry about that. Um, oh yeah, quickening. Okay. Um, my son and I are in the kitchen downstairs in the house here in Switzerland. And he was pretty young. He was like maybe 10 or something. So this is 10 years ago or so. And he said, Dad, can you answer a question? And I said, I'll try. I said, you know, I'll try. I, don't, I can't guarantee it because I don't know all the answers, obviously. Uh, there are some people who think they do, but that's beside the point. But he said to me, he said to me, why did God make women so much smarter than men? <laughs> And I, I looked, I, I laughed, I said, look, I said, when I can answer that question, what's going to happen is, just that one question, why did, right, that one, why did God make, right, women smarter than men, I'm going to put a diaper on, and I'm going to sit on the side of a hill, and I'm going to answer all the rest of the difficult questions in the world, right, because then I'll, I'll have it figured out. I will know what to tell people. Right? I'll know, Jesus, if God did this, man, that's a big question there. You know that with me. But um, at any rate, women are underliving their potential on this planet. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not patronizing you. I don't have time to do that. But for the last couple of thousands of years, women have been subjugated as second-class citizens. From my viewpoint of this thing called one of the Abraham religions, one of the Abraham religions, there's a few of them, they all came from Abraham. I don't know this dude Abraham was, but he seemed to be prolific in his writing and opinionated in the rest of his beliefs. But in a lot of what I learned when I was a kid, there were two women. There was one big dude, right? Jesus, he was the big dude, right? And then there were two prominent women, and the one prominent, they were both named Mary, oddly enough, and there was Mary Magdalene, she was a whore. You know, she just apparently would do anybody and everything. And then there was Mary, the mother of Jesus, and she was a virgin who had, who bore like the Son of God. So, from a kid's point of view, that I think that's pretty mixed up. You know, there's two women, none of them are thought of, well, they're thought of highly because she had Jesus, but <laughs> not through having sex. God somehow impregnated her from a distance. And the other one is a whore, which I've read into the history of things, and I don't really believe that. I believe that without Mary Magdalene, Jesus really couldn't have existed with all his teachings. You know, you can have fault with me at this, but don't. This, if this is what turns you off to what I do, that's fine with me. But women have been underrated for a couple of thousand years. They're more intelligent than men, they have a quicker thinking process, and they have a greater survival instinct than men. Ladies, it's your turn to step up to bat and start taking care of this planet. Okay, when I was, we were going through the first part of the financial crisis, which we're not done with the financial crisis, okay, it's still going on. Somebody says if it was the, I think, Lieberman brothers, if it were the Lieberman sisters, we wouldn't be going through this.